There's always a story. Share it or someone will write it for you. That's arrow.net, A-R-R-O-E.net. We are unplugged and totally uncut with Sam J. Jones. Fantastic. How are you doing today? Absolutely fantastic as well. And when you say fantastic, that means you you live that. That's not just a word in our lives and heart. That, that's, that's something that you've got to bring forward every day. Well, yeah. It's funny when people ask me, uh, are you okay? I always say, no, I'm not okay. I'm doing excellent. <laughs> so okay to me is substandard. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, no, I, yeah, okay. I, what's okay? I, I don't want to just survive. I want to thrive. We all should, we all should thrive. Yeah, even though we have challenges and adversity almost every day, we need to thrive right through that. Right. Well, that's the one thing that I learned in in, in becoming a third degree black belt in martial arts. Winning is a choice. So on those days where you don't feel like that you're a winner, ha, 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 that's a choice. Turn it around. It's a yeah. choice. So what style are you did, did you are, are you doing? Started out in combat karate and then jumped into taekwondo because I wanted to learn how to kick high. And and combat karate goes, it's not about kicking high; it's about taking out the towers. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, that's well, uh, brother. I'm I'm a fellow black belt in hapkido. Oh, I love yeah. hapkido. Yeah. Oh my god, that's that's magic hapkido. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's a lot of pain. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, 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 I primarily was Taekwondo and Hapkido together. Yep. Yeah, it's uh, I love it. And you're right. It's uh, it's a great workout, but it's, it's also for your thinking, you know, really martial arts, as you know, I'm preaching to the choir here. Martial arts trains us really how not to fight. That's right. You know, we can, I'm proud to say I've uh, broken up. 50 fights in my life and 49 of those were somebody wanted to fight me yeah okay. yeah 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 how did you handle those situations so when people found out you know that you're a black belt and they go ooh, and you go don't don't think like that we live a black belt path we live in peace well we don't want to broadcast that we are a right. martial artist number one okay <laughs> because you want the you want the element of surprise I, I love the descriptive line for well for special ops, but also for Krav Maga. The descriptive line. What is it? Speed, surprise, and overwhelming violence. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so true. <laughs> yeah. Now in the movie An Unlikely Angel, to bring that acting forward, don't you also pull from the martial arts? You've got to be able to bring it forward by using that inner core energy. Yeah, I, I mean, I've only, I've, let me see, I've only been an actor 45 years. Yeah. <laughs> I have only, I've been a martial artist since, uh, well, it's 1979, so that's 43 years. Uh, but I've been a Marine for 50 years. Mm -hmm. So yeah, from the Marine Corps, from martial arts, it just, you know, a lot of people in the industries that we deal with probably need to be headbutted or something like that, or maybe a big squeeze hug <laughs> until you hear bones crack a little bit. But it teaches us not to do that. It teaches us that, that there's, especially post COVID now, there's a lot of hurting people. Yeah. And maybe they're verbally um, abusing us because maybe they just lost a family member. We don't know that. Yep. So, so we try to build them up and talk them through it. But yeah, uh, Unlikely Angel deals with, uh, for Pure Flix, it's incredible, man. Uh, it deals with the adversity and the challenges of working, bringing in provision, and having to manage and spend quality time with our family, especially younger kids. How do we do that? And this movie, uh, written by... Uh, um, written by Rebecca uh, and uh, directed by uh, Darrell Nelson, uh, husband and wife. They cover this. Yep. There's some, even though it's faith-based, there's some shocking twists. There's some divine intervention. But it really, when we watch it, it causes us to, us to self-evaluate. Oh, am I doing this? How am I doing this? Mm -hmm. So it's wonderful. It's so uplifting, but again, really kind of cool, shocking twists. Well, and, and it's very up to date too, especially since, I mean, the big news yesterday was, you know, Labor Day weekend is over. That means people are headed back to their offices and moms and dads are going, I, I want to be with my family. And I even feel that every day. I, I, I love my family so much even more since the lockdown. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, you're right. But we're not designed for this isolation. We're designed to get out and have a community. You bet. Um, even where our kids, you know, we, we need to get them out, get them outside, protect them, 
Absolutely, but we we need to get them outside, outside in the air, whatever, the park, whatever it takes. You know, I, I love the idea that you're part of the process of faith-based movies being, we, we don't even have to even put a title on it anymore in, in the way of, well, it's a faith-based movie. No, no, it's it's a great movie is what it is. Yeah, that's a very good point. No, no, you, you've, yeah, you've addressed something there that not too many people have addressed. No, it's wonderful. Yeah. It, it's true. Yeah. So all movies, if you think about what you just said, I'm thinking out loud, all movies should be faith based. Yeah. I mean, building up our faith, no matter what it is, this this story is building up my faith. It's helping me make decisions. It's giving me new ideas, strategies, concepts I never thought of before. And it's encouraging me and others. And that's the platform you and I have, brother. Yeah. That's the platform that the good Lord's given us. And, and 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 we need to uh, know that this is where we belong. That's our gift. And I invite listeners to sit down with, you don't have to have a writing instrument and a, and a pad of paper on your lap, but just have it nearby because you, you share things inside this story where they, even if they just jotted something down quickly, it's, it's for their future self they're going to pick something up on uh, from this movie. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, m- m- make your notes. But again, it's going to be... Um, it's going to be as you watch it, these notes, these these special moments are going to come to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm a firm believer of, of, of taking notes. And, and you, um, you and if you watch it on Pure Flix, uh, I guess you could, you know, record it. Uh, I, I don't want to, you know, I'm, I'm sure you can somehow. <laughs> yeah. You can pay to record it. So go over and over it again. Watch it many times. Yeah, they, they really address. And I and I love playing the dad. And now for my first time playing the granddad. You know, in real life we have five children and six grandchildren. So this covers all bases for grandparents, their children, and their grandchildren. All different age demographics. It's wonderful. Oh, my God. And and, and being a grandparent, I mean, there, there's no words that describe that feeling. When you see the, the little ones, you're, it's like, oh, well, I, I loved my daughter, but, but my God, I see you guys, and there's, there's a whole completely different style of love here. Sure it is. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Now, the, the movie covers something that's very, very important, and, and it's the choice, business, or family. There's a lot of people facing this right now, and I and, and that's the one thing I tell people. I don't have a job. I have a choice. My choice is to do this, and you guys really embrace this. Well, yeah. I mean, it's it's uh, <laughs> the irony of it all. We, How do you choose? Provision has to come in. You ha- We have to work to pay the bills. Yep. Uh, and we, we have young children, sometimes very, very young. We need to spend quality time. So how do we manage that? And again, when we watch an unlikely angel on pure flicks, um, we're going to be going through this, you know, self evaluating yep. ourselves yep. and learning how to do this. It's gotta be done with, we need provision coming in and we need quality time with our children. Wow. So choices. Yes, <laughs> choices. I love the idea a few minutes ago that you said that you, you've been a Marine for, because the one thing that I've always learned in talking to the U S men and women who have served this nation, once a Marine, always a Marine. And sir, you're living yes. it. 50 years. My and you know, what's kind of crazy about that. I, you know, Flash Gordon, um, which I'm known for, he, he's one of the few superheroes who does not have superpowers. Yeah. He's just a guy. <laughs> I think that's why this longevity has been part of him forever and ever. People relate to him. They say, if Sam J. Jones or Flash Gordon can do that, then I can do that. Yep. And when they look at this movie, An Unlikely Angel, they say, well, if she can do that, this big job and, and young kids, then by golly, I can do that too. Yep. And that's the message. Oh, I love it. I love it. Please come back to this show anytime in the future, Sam. The door is always going to be open for you, sir. Thank you so much. You bet. Kosami Da. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> right, Who's your Kwanlin M? Uh, you know, I, my, my Saba name is uh, uh, Todd Harris, and we it was Martial Arts University, and he was just a brilliant, brilliant motivator. And, 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 and the only reason why I stepped free from it is because I got older, but that doesn't mean I'm still not thinking about it and living that lifestyle inside my mind. Yeah. My, mine is uh, uh, Jun Strong out of L.A., and you would know his other two students, Philip Ree and Simon Ree, who did the five movies, the best of the best. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> well, you be brilliant today, okay, sir? Thank you so much.